Hey guys, this is Pooja Chakrora for Sports Now, and I have with me Hetal Dave, India's first ever and only female sumo wrestler. What inspired you to get into sumo wrestling in a country like India? Um, actually. Uh, I always wanted to do something different, and uh, when I saw these men you know, coming to our club and practicing, and uh, we used to be their sparring partners, and I never, I mean, from my childhood, I never saw any girl, you know, playing sumo or going uh, practicing sumo, so we So uh, it just, you know, out of curiosity, I just asked my sir that, you know, do even girls uh, play sumo wrestling? And he said, yes, you, uh, I mean, girls do play. I said, then, uh, sir, I would like to play. Because I don't know, I, I just got so attracted to this game. Sumo wrestling also has a federation, but there are the boys involved in it, not a single girl is involved in it. What do you think of this scene of Sumo wrestling in India? People are not taking it in a positive way. Uh, there are so many people who are associated with me, who know that I do something uh, called as Sumo wrestling, but uh, they're still not, uh, you know, taking keen interest into knowing what it is. As a girl or as a sumo as a female, I feel that uh, this game is not getting uh, as much recognition as, uh, as it should be. How Sunidhi Chauhan came in, she had a very different voice. She got recognized through her voice, which was different. So why can't I be recognized for doing something different? Of course, I'm from the sports field and I'm doing a different sport. But when there is somebody else who is winning and coming in a known sport, of course you appreciate, you would, you know, you will you will put their uh, posts on uh, the social media, you will share their photos. So why can't uh, there will uh, why can't there, you know there is a appreciation for people like us who are doing different things but still not known to the country. Tell us about your struggle trying to sponsor how difficult was it? You still don't manage to get one. What is the media lacking behind in such situations? When I started finding a sponsor for my first tournament, it was very difficult because uh, people don't know that you know sumo wrestling is happening in India. I read somewhere that when your dad went to ask someone for a sponsorship, he said, "We know this will happen." Yes, so that's the that yeah. Scenario. So that is the scenario. They thought that you know I'm going for some Tata sumo car for a rally or something just to have fun, but they didn't know that you know there is sumo wrestling. I mean, you know that there is sumo wrestling happening in Japan. You know, you have these. You could guys play, but there are weight categories in sumo wrestling. You don't need to be, you know, very fat to play sumo wrestling. People are not, you know, still not accepting the truth that you know there is something like this happening, and um, it's it's like uh, it's sometimes very humiliating for me to you know go and ask for sponsorship because they they have such taunts or such such things to tell you that you know you just feel so ashamed of yourself that why why on earth did you choose this. Yeah. 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 What was the journey that your family has been going through in this entire ordeal that you're facing? Uh, I basically come from Rajasthan, uh, and uh, as Rajasthani, you know, you, you, jitna bhi your ka, your community or your family is forward, they have uh, few restrictions on the girl child. So, uh, and uh, I decided doing a uh, different. I mean. You would not see many Marwadi Brahmins, uh, to be specific, doing uh, something up, out of you know studying or maybe painting or singing or something like that. My journey actually started when I was five. So from that age, I was into judo, and the judo is something you know, which is which is tagged as a hatha pai and all. अगर लड़की को कुछ हो गया हाथ टूट गया पैर टूट गया कौन शादी करेगा एट द एज ऑफ फाइव यू नो योर ग्रैंड पेरेंट्स एंड एवरीबडी आर थिंकिंग अबाउट यू गेटिंग मैरिड सो यू हैव टू बी वन पीस टू गेट मैरिड एज अ वर्स्ट थिंग यू कैन थिंक ऑफ इज दैट लड़की का मुंह खराब हो जाए राइट लड़की का मुंह खराब हो जाएगा कान फूट जाएगा तो कौन उससे शादी करेगा कैसे दिखेगी फिर मैं नानी शी गेम फॉर माई नेशनल टूर्नामेंट एंड शी इज सिटिंग देयर इन फ्रंट रो टू सी हर ग्रैंड डॉटर थे And for me, uh, my family is my backbone because it's because of their struggles that I am what I am today. So when I think of giving up, I just sit there, sit back, and uh, just memorize all these things. And you know, I feel like I have done so much. I don't want to live for a little. I can't live for a little.
So I will still fight. How did you approach this in a different manner? Do you, do you actually feel at this moment that you need to go and continue with the same process again? Until and unless your voice is heard at the, at the biggest level, maybe the sports ministry, maybe Mr. Modi. What do you think of it? I have been to the state government and uh, they say that you know your game is not in the government list so we can't do anything for that. But how can that be in the list because I am the only one and I am doing something which nobody has done till now. And uh, yes I would want to fight. I am on a mission to meet Mr. Modi and uh, I am you know I will fight through all the hurdles that come in my way. I would like to meet each and every person who I can to you know to meet Mr. PM because now that is my main aim. Why can't you know where do people like us go? I mean, how do we approach to people if, if the state government is not helping us? If you, you know the local people are not helping us, I don't know how to go. I don't have any change. Earlier, I think when I spoke, you spoke about sign and ever getting the Olympic You won a world championship during that time, and no one even knew that. Yes, I have also played Olympics. Right? Our game is not in the Olympics, so we have world games, which are equivalent to Olympics. So, like Sana, Sa, Saina Nehwal won her, her uh, bronze medal in Olympics. That time, I uh, before that, I have won. Uh, I mean, I am first in the world games, which are equivalent to Olympics. And I have always travelled alone. I have never had any manager nor any coach. I played all alone. I have done all my registration alone. All the you know, uh, uh, your staying and eating and everything that you have to do. All the things that a manager does when it, uh, you know, when a team goes from any country. Uh, a manager is appointed. A coach is appointed. They all have their duties. I did all the duties on my own, and I played. Sumo wrestling needs to get that recognition. There need to be people who, you know, come up to you and say, I want to be like you. And when that comes to my mind, I think there's a title that's also on her t-shirt, which says Sumo D. Where did you get that from? This is this uh, 101 uh, India. They did a story on me. And uh, uh, Ashish uh, Soni is the director of uh, the video that was done. And, uh, they gave me this title of uh, Sumo Didi. Mm -hmm. So I got this title from uh, 101 India. And uh, uh, I mean, people, you know, started relating to it. You know, uh, there are people who know me. There are my friends, you know, they won't call me by my name. They'll call me Sumo Didi. I'm very happy that he's given me this title. So, uh, now I think that, you know, uh, there are people who would not relate to Hetal Dave that much but they are, they are relating to Sumo Didi. It was great talking to you Hetal and I am sure the future of Indian Sumo Wrestling is in great hands. If you guys have anything to ask Hetal, please go ahead, like, share, comment, Sports Now is the page. And now, let me go and get some, some of my moves out.